Is it possible to speed up Lightroom Classic without buying new hardware? Absolutely. That is when you follow these nine speed tips. Hello, I'm Chris Parker with parkerphotographic.com and if you're ready, let's do it. All right, so these first three tips you should always be doing regardless of the Lightroom Classic version that you're using. So the first thing we're gonna do is jump into preferences by holding down the command or control key plus the comma key to open up preferences, or you can go up here to your menu and select settings from here. If you're on a PC, you're gonna go down to file or edit to find the settings. And here is that keyboard shortcut right there. All right, so we're gonna navigate to the performance tab here. And the first thing we wanna do is set up the graphics processor. So if it says graphics acceleration is disabled, we wanna turn that on. Now, if you use auto, it may or may not recognize the card that you're using. And if it does, it's gonna say your system automatically supports full acceleration. If you're still getting this message here where it's disabled, you're gonna go into custom and turn on these three options here. And then it's gonna tell you that acceleration is enabled. So that first tip right there should definitely speed up Lightroom Classic for you. If your catalog, if we take a look in catalog settings here, so back up to the menu here and select catalog settings. And if we look under general, you can see that we have a location here where that catalog is being stored. So by default, it is going to be installed on your internal hard drive. But if you moved it to an external hard drive, chances are that external hard drive is slower than your internal hard drive. So another thing you can do to speed up Lightroom Classic instantly is to move your catalog from that external drive to your internal drive. The other thing you can do, so tip number three would be to go back into preferences and make sure that the location of your cached files are on your internal hard drive as well. But more importantly, you wanna make sure that that internal hard drive is not full or close to being full. If you only have a few gigabytes left, chances are that's not just slowing down Lightroom Classic, but your entire operating system and any other apps that you're using. So make sure you have plenty of hard drive space, 20, 50, maybe 100 gigabytes or more, because Lightroom Classic is using cached files in order to speed up the preview of your images in the library and the develop module. Now, if you increase the maximum size, Adobe and other creators say that that will speed up Lightroom Classic, but I've done some testing and that is not true. To learn more about that, and you can see right here, I only have five gigabytes, whereas others recommend 20, 50, or more gigabytes, and I'm not seeing any speed increase by increasing the maximum size beyond five gigabytes. So to learn more about that, check out the video tutorial in the description below. All right, so my next Lightroom Classic speed tip is to use Smart Preview. So a Smart Preview file is a lightweight, smaller file format that will load faster compared to other preview types created in Lightroom Classic. Now to create these Smart Previews, you're gonna make sure you're in the library module. Then you're gonna go ahead and select all the files you wanna create smart previews for. You're gonna go up to library, scroll down to previews and click on build smart previews and it will auto magically create those previews for you. All right, for the next speed tip, let's go back into catalog settings and go into the file handling tab and we're gonna take a look at this section right here. So we have some options here to change the standard preview size, the preview quality, and then you can also auto magically discard one-to-one -one previews after whatever you select here. So during import, you have an option to create one-to-one -one previews, which are the largest, highest quality previews available in Lightroom, and it will speed up the process of viewing those images when you have one-to-one -one previews versus Lightroom having to create them every time you navigate to a new image. But the downside is it takes longer to import those files since all of those preview files, those one-to-one -one previews are being created at the time of import. So I do use one-to-one -one previews, 
but after 30 days, I discard them because I no longer need to look at those files and it saves some space on my hard drive. Now, the other thing you can do to speed up Lightroom is to change the standard preview size from auto to something smaller. So auto is going to auto select the size based on your monitor. So if you want to speed up the process of viewing images in Lightroom Classic, choose one of these smaller options here. You can also change the preview quality from high, medium to low. And again, these will be smaller preview files, which will load faster in Lightroom Classic. But these lower settings mean that the preview is of a lower quality and it's not going to look as good as it is with the higher options. The same thing with the preview size. But when you export the file, it will be the same high resolution of that raw file that you're working with or that JPEG file. All right, for our next speed tip, we're gonna go into the metadata tab. And if you have automatically write changes into XMP turned on, like I do, you may wanna consider turning it off if you're having speed issues. And that's because Lightroom Classic will automatically write any edits that you do every single time, and it's going to place that information into that XMP file. So that takes extra time. So turning that off should speed up Lightroom, but there are advantages and disadvantages to using XMP files. That's one disadvantage, there's others. So if you wanna learn more about XMP files and why I recommend turning this on, check out the video tutorial link in the description below where I explain what an XMP file is and why you should use it. All right, so we have one more setting in catalog settings to check out, and that is face detection. If you have automatically detect faces in all photos turned on, that is going to slow down Lightroom Classic as it looks through every single image to try and identify that face. So if you have a lot of faces, you may want to turn this off. All right, so for these last two Lightroom speed tips, I've switched to a new catalog with a lot more images, and that's because I wanna show you what you can do to speed up Lightroom as you add more and more images to your Lightroom catalog. So for this particular catalog, I have 228,316 images, and these are images back in the day from when I was a full-time wedding and portrait photographer. Now, for me personally, I've never experienced a slowdown as I add more and more images, but I know others have. So here's what you can do to speed up Lightroom if you find it's getting really slow because you're adding more images. Instead of putting all those images into one catalog, create multiple catalogs. And you can create these catalogs based on category. So if you're a portrait and wedding photographer like I was, you can create a catalog for just portraits and another catalog just for weddings. But even then I have 90,000 images just for weddings. So what I could do then is create a wedding catalog for each season. So a catalog for 2008, another catalog for 2009, et cetera. Now, if you're not working as a photographer professionally, and this is just a hobby, you can still do the same thing. You can create a catalog for vacation photos, another catalog for family photos, etc. All right, I'm now going to contradict what I said in the last tip, and that is do not create multiple catalogs, and here's why. Every time you want to go and find a specific photo, well, guess what? It may not be in that specific catalog that you have open, so now you have to open up the catalog where that image is located. So if I want to find an image from 2008, I have to find the 2008 catalog, to open it up to find those images based on that year. All right, so watch this video tutorial next for my top Lightroom Classic tips to be more productive with Lightroom.